soulmates and welcome back to our channel for those of you who are new i'm claudia and today we're going to be showing you the beautiful town of canmore alberta and just a quick little winter getaway that we're having this weekend so super excited we haven't done too many of these um but definitely taking this time to explore more of alberta and more of canada so we're super excited to take you guys along with us so today we're going to be traveling with Devin riley aka the limo driver <laughs> so grateful for her driving during this winter season as well as her photographer videographer andrea hi it's freezing guys. it's <laughs> absolutely freezing this is it's beautiful cold <laughs> but fun so we are going to head into canmore right now we also did winter glamping last night so we stayed in a tent and it was actually a really great experience so if you guys want to check that out um we're gonna link it down below but if not let's go to canmore adventure has begun and this is something completely new to our channel like we have never done anything like this and it is actually caving and we recently discovered that there is caves here in Canmore and super excited to be going on this adventure um, so we have begun our hike it's about half an hour and then we'll be going down into some caves sent me the cutest bathing suit to wear on this trip and I'm so excited to wear it today we're just gonna be lounging around in the pool so not doing much um, but enjoying the beautiful Malcolm Hotel that we're staying at this weekend um, so I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what the bathing suit looks like um, and then make sure you guys go check us out on Instagram at soulmates broadcast so you guys can see more of how this beautiful bathing suit looks on it is our last day unfortunately but it's not over yet we are going to head over to Kananaskis which is right next to Canmore and and we have about an hour drive and we're going to check out a bit of a hidden gem and it is a suspension bridge that is kind of in the middle of nowhere but we've seen quite a few people post there and it looks absolutely stunning are you excited to go i'm so excited yeah i think it'll be awesome and hopefully we see no wild animals <laughs> on the way up to our photo spot we did get 
get warned by somebody just now that there's a lot of wildlife on our way there but hopefully it's said to you can park and it's about one kilometer hike to the bridge so it's not too too bad um, and we've also learned that by now bears have mostly gone up north um, so we should be okay to do this one fingers crossed wish us luck We are on our way to the suspension bridge. The suspension bridge. I feel like I'm talking a little funny because I can't feel my lips, but <laughs> but here's Claudia hiking like a trooper. <laughs> and then we've got beautiful Devin back here. Struggling. As all Struggling, man. <laughs> all right, we didn't so. Know this was all uphill on the way there. Yeah, so if you hear panting, because we're out of shape. <laughs> we don't know, even know if we're going in the right direction. <laughs> but that's so, pretty typical. I mean, it's pretty well paved by other footprints, so I'm assuming people have been here before. All right, well, we'll see you there, hopefully. We made it! So it took about a 10 minute walk to get to the bridge and it is so unbelievably beautiful. Definitely a hidden gem. Not a lot of people know how to get here. If you put it in Google Maps, it literally just tells you to stop right in the middle of the road. And we kind of saw some people head in this direction. So we just kind of followed them. But otherwise, um, there's no sign or anything until you get here. So do read like read up on it before you come here, but it is definitely worth it. The walk wasn't very long at all, and it's a little bit uphill on the way here, but it's honestly not bad. Um, definitely worth it for some amazing photos in a not very crowded place. Thank you. 